up guys for today's video I'm going to be adding a Sybin carbon fiber duck bill trunk super excited for that I don't mind this trunk honestly I actually did just get this repainted right here so that ghost letters were gone but you know what that duck bill is going to look freaking fire so I'm going for it and I found it for a good deal so let's get to it so these should be most of the tools that you need. Just a couple flatheads, a couple of these panel tool removers, ratchet, T30 star key. All right, first things first, get the trunk open. We're gonna pop all these little tabs off. One of these tools, just get underneath and boom. Pry it underneath near the center. And then when you look underneath, it's just a couple of these plastic clips right here. We're gonna undo these electrical harnesses. Super simple. Squeeze, pull. And right here, squeeze and pull. And then we're gonna pop out each one of these. Make sure to unplug this brown electrical harness. Pretty sure that goes for the third brake light. So these things, when you're removing them, they're really easy to break on the sides. And you just squeeze like that and the other side together. So this thing also is easy to break. I've broke it before, but so basically same thing as those, as these guys. You got two little things on the side of each one that you just squeeze in right there. I would just use two of these from the side and then pull it out. Don't force it, that's when this whole plastic will break. You're gonna take these bolts off with a 10 mil ratchet. Okay, now we're gonna peel this back and pull the wiring through the hole. So, I got the right size star key, right? T30 for these brackets. <laughs> I got one of them loose. The rest of them completely stripped. So, I'm gonna have to refinish this another day once I get something to get these screws loose. All right, so if your screws strip like mine did, you're gonna wanna use something like this. It's called an easy out extractor so this end is the first end you use and then the second end is this one and you want to do both ones in reverse so spinning so for this thing you're gonna need to use a flathead like so stick it right in there just like that and then you're gonna want to just smack it out just like that all right now to use the Easy out. Make sure it's in reverse. Going counterclockwise. Let's get it. All right, so you're gonna wanna make sure to get all the way to this edge right there. All right. Now for the second part, you can drill that screw out. Make sure it's in reverse. Oh, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> Remember to put a lot of pressure and let's drill this thing out. And reverse. Boom. You can replace it with any 10 millimeter screw. I like to use ones with washers if I can. All right, now that I got the screws out, starting off where I left off the other day. All I have is one bolt on each side. I've got everything else taken out, including the electrical wires and this part. And then you're gonna take these off also and then put them onto your new truck. All right, so I'm gonna need you to hold it like here, okay? And you're gonna need to keep holding it, okay?
All right, after you take both screws off the one side, you're gonna have to have somebody else hold that side while you unscrew the other side, and then you're not gonna wanna uh, let go of your own side while you're taking out the last screw, unless you got a third person to help, and that'll be a little easier, but I don't, so here we go. All right, for that last one, definitely use a drill so you don't have to like sit there rationing the whole time while you're holding it up. Good. All right, let's raise it up away from the car. Up. All right, now we got the old trunk off. Now for the carbon fiber duck bill trunk. Hey. It's gonna look so sweet on there. That's so light. This thing is way lighter than this stock one. All right, again, you're gonna rest your corner like you were, gently, you know, all the way. Gentle. And then, in the mind. Don't let it rest anymore, lift it. All right, so you want to have it tight, but not all the way tight, so it can still have some wiggle room. All right, now to put this part back in. You're gonna want to put these Struts, I think they're called back on. You gotta put a lot of weight down into it to get it on, right? Slide it into place. All right, now you wanna slide the electrical wires back through the holes, into the bottom, out through this higher hole. Hopefully this rubber grommet actually is drilled out the right size. <laughs> You're gonna wanna run these electrical wires up through this hole and out through this one and then plug them in right here. Just slide right in. All right, now while the screws are still a little loose, I'm gonna try to gently close it and see if it locks. Watch your edges, make sure it's not running into the sides. Uh, keep the lines even. Oh, what do you know? Worked first try. <laughs> nice. All right, we already test fit it, but I got it all lined up. And it's gonna lock in these strips real quick. All right, for these little like zip tie like lock things that hold the wire on. They weren't lined up to the holes I already drilled and honestly I could have easily just drilled it with this one but I thought of that after I already taped it and I think it'll hold fine. It's just electrical tape. And then for these ones right there I'm going to drill one right up there and one and that's using the one quarter drill bit. I'm trying to like mimic where they were on the stock one. Separation reduction. You don't want to go too deep. That's enough to go through. Oh my god. Just like that. Be careful. Alright, so I replaced all these little foam things. I don't know how necessary it is, but I figure it's there for a reason. Maybe like uh, vibration, stuff like that. All right, now to put the cover on. First, you wanna slide this boy through. Just like so. So now I'm just gonna put all these clips in all the holes around the outside. All right, got the whole carpet cover on. You want to remember to clip this thing into those two holes and then get it touched just like that. And then the only thing I haven't done yet 
is uh, the little stoppers that come right there. Um, I just haven't figured out how I'm gonna drill a perfect square yet, so I'm gonna do that a little bit later. But honestly, the last guy that had them didn't even rock them, so I don't think it's absolutely necessary. And these are the stoppers that I was talking about. Just like that. That carbon fiber looks so good. Aggressive looking, nice and sleek and smooth. Look at that thing. Alright, that's a wrap.